Trump continues to get backlash for his support and praise of President Trump. This is a recent op-ed from NBC News columnist Julio Ricardo Herrera. Quoting him here, well, as longtime supporter of Republican candidates Bob Unane, Goya CEO, has had no problem shunning his grandfather's Puerto Rican migrant roots by playing up his family's Spanish and European ones, as though he, his quest for the white acceptance is something noble to achieve in these times. Bob Unane, during a speech at the White House this week, said that, or last week rather, said that we are truly blessed to have President Trump as our leader. His comments then triggered a simultaneous boycott and a boycott of Goya products. Goya is America's largest Hispanic-owned food company, the president's daughter and advisor. Ivanka Trump also tweeting this photo in support of Goya, according to the company's slogan here. If it's Goya, it has to be good. She also did it in Spanish, and she received a ton of backlash for this tweet for various reasons. But let's talk more about Goya in our weekly brand power segment. Back with us again, media relations expert and the founder of Allison May Public Relations, Allison Maloney. She's also a Newsmax contributor. And back again with us, marketing and branding expert, Dr. John Tantillo. John is also an applied research psychologist. John, Allison, great to see you both. Yeah, great well, to see thank you. Thank you. All right, so here's what MSNBC reporter Chris Jansing had to say about Ivanka. Quote, senior policy advisor to the president endorsing a product using the company's own advertising line, ethics rules, do not allow it, and pretty much unimaginable in previous administrations. Yes, a lot of stuff is unimaginable when you think about previous administrations. But let's talk about Goya itself, Allison. Is, is this good or bad for Goya? Well, it's actually good, I think, because obviously, you know, the CEO got some backlash. But, well, he got a lot of praise as well, because basically he's supporting the president. But what happened was, is people were hoping to boycott the product, but instead, as you mentioned, people were now doing boycotts. And so much so that people were donating food to local food banks. One woman in Virginia had a GoFundMe page and has raised $10,000 for local food banks. So people um, ended up benefiting from this, those in need, and it showed on how much support the company does have from the other side. Um, and people are talking about it, and people are, are happy that he did take a stance and that he's not backing down from what he said. John, how does this fit in with the Goya brand? Obviously, you know, by picking a political side, you run the risk of alienating a lot of your potential customers. Is this a risky move by the Goya CEO? Well, no, I don't. I really don't think so, because uh, what this is all about is getting attention. Mm. Uh, boycotts, the only thing we really know about boycotts is that it focuses the attention on the brand. And what what happened here was because of uh, Goya's past and their good deeds of giving uh, uh, foodstuffs to the poor, uh, it focuses it focused the attention on their meritorious behavior and was a plus. So if you're going to do a boycott, you better make sure that the what you're trying to promote is going to stick. And in this case, I don't think so. I think what it did, it worked to Goya's favor. Allison, one of the funniest things I saw in response this week was the hashtag uh, Black Beans Matter uh, going around, <laughs> which, uh, <laughs> not, not to diminish that too much, but that was what uh, somebody else said about it. Uh, another thing to talk about, too, guys, Allison, you actually brought this up. You, you texted me about this last night. We were yeah. kind of talking about uh, what yeah. we were going to talk about on Brand Power today. But this one got a lot of attention. Burger King. The brand known for their hamburgers, the Whopper, they're trying to get a boost from the environmental push. This is the uh, Walmart Yodler kid. He's now in a Burger King ad. They are adding lemongrass to their beef herds diet now to help reduce methane emissions, or in other words, they're trying to reduce cow farts to help climate change. But watching this video, the imagery here, Allison, you're using flatulence to promote a food product. It does yeah, not it's a little counterintuitive, together. to say the least. It doesn't go together. I had to watch it twice because I didn't real. I didn't think it was real, to be honest with you. You know, Burger King. I, I personally think they've been struggling with their messaging. Remember back last fall when they had the moldy Whopper, the bun to show that you know doesn't have any chemicals in it. So, look, I think that this. They were hoping it would go viral, but a lot of people are not happy about it. I looked on YouTube today. They had 2,100 dislikes and 2,000 likes. So when you have that many dislikes. Their messaging, they could have done it in a completely different way. It just is not appealing, and a lot of people are talking about it, but not for the good. 
God, I'll admit, Burger King got me with their Impossible Burgers. I burgers. I had to try one to see if it really tasted like meat, and I it wasn't bad. I don't know if I'd do it again, but uh, when you can have a regular hamburger. But again, this kind of thing using Allison mentioned all the negative feedback they got, but sometimes you tell me any feedback is good feedback, and they're getting a lot of attention here. But using flatulence to sell hamburgers. It's not your uh, your demographic, my demographic. It's for young people. Look at who they chose to represent the product. A kid. <laughs> this is targeted to a totally different group of people called young adults. Not even young adults. Yeah. Teens. Well, I, this I just, is not for us. I guess what well, we can try it on our kids, Allison and John, and, and find out if, if we're going to start. If they're going to start asking us if they can go to the place where the cows <laughs> fart, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 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 just, sorry, we definitely well, went. We definitely went kids um, about farts. They will, in fact, uh, laugh. Uh, yeah, we won't. <laughs> yes, we're embarrassed by it. We're, yeah, we don't normally talk about it on the news, but this is a brand power segment. This is somewhat of a you know, non-conventional way of promoting your brand, so we thought it was newsworthy uh, for today. Allison, John, great to see you both. Look forward to our next Thanks brand so power much. segment coming up next Wednesday. We'll see you again.